As you can clearly see, never trust a skinny chef. Ping! Hi everyone, I'm Carl Cox. Today I'm gonna to cook a Coxie shepherd's pie. Now normally, shepherd's pie made with lamb, but because it's Coxie's, that's what we're having today. We start off with the potatoes. Let's get the heat on. Get it on full whack. It takes normally about 20 minutes. Got a couple of carrots, you only, you only need two for this dish. Peel them, quick wash. One onion. I thought I'd cheat a little bit and see if this works out. And those blades look really sharp. <laughs> We're gonna put some mushrooms in. Watching your fingers again. I just love garlic, it's really easy. So now we're gonna start mixing things up. Get some heat in the pan, a little bit of oil. So this is about a kilo. So I'm gonna fry off all the uh, vegetables and the onions in here. Start to reduce a little bit, and once that's all started to cook, and then you can introduce these together. Two uh, tablespoons tomato paste in there. Uh, a little bit of Worcester sauce, actually. It's got a bit of chili in there, actually. There's a oh, yeah. Australian filled peas, mate. Bung in a few of those. You can actually put in the chopped garlic now. So we're gonna put some uh, beef stock in. Now I've got some thyme and some rosemary. I've got it grown in my own garden, so this is great. A little bit of flour, gives it a little bit more body. A tablespoon in. Now I'm gonna add the two together. As I say in Scotland, a little wee dram, the finest whiskey. And I'll just put a little drop. And you just keep cooking it. Now that's been in there for a little bit more longer than 20 minutes, so I already know that they're really soft. Here we have a little bit of butter. I'm gonna grab some milk, get it all, get some salt pepper going in there as well. Squish out a little bit of butter and cheese. And then mash that in together. Right, as you can see, all the ingredients have uh, come uh, gelled together. Now it's time to put it in the dish. Try and get it as flat as you can. Spread the, the mash over the top. For some reason, they do like to score. I'm gonna to top it off with some Parmesan. So it's going in there, preheated oven, roughly about 200 degrees. Stick it in for about 20, 25 minutes. I'm going to make a whiskey cocktail today. Just some crushed ice, two shots, and then Granny Smith's cold press juice. Get a glass, and away you go. Top it off. Put some ice in there. Cheers. Delicious. Moment of truth. Oh, look at it. Oh, my word. Look at it. Still bubbling. It smells good. It is good. Cannot wait to eat it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes.